FDA just approved another weight loss injection drug called Zetbound. It's similar to Manjaro, Ozempic, and Wegovy. With so many weight loss options on the market today, how do you know if they are right for you and which one is right for you? Such a hot topic. I feel like everyone's Definitely. talking about that right now. Today, we are joined by wellness expert and author of How to Win at Modern Wellness. You see these gentlemen right here, Sam Tejada. Raise your hand. There you go. <laughs> and board me. certified cardiologist and chief medical officer at Liquivita, Dr. Christopher Davis. Thank you both <laughs> for joining us. Sam, talk to us about your journey. You were a firefighter when you started this and what made you wanna get on it? Yeah, so, you know, I was a firefighter and I, I was in the best help, the sh shape sure. of my life, right? I was actually on the fireman's calendar and everything. Nice. And I uh, started my company, Liquivita, and I was basically working two full-time jobs, mm. right? And like most entrepreneurs, we sometimes lose control of our health. And that's what happened to me. And I'm a huge advocate of always saying, you need to be, uh, you know, feel youthful, energetic, and in control of your health. And I wasn't doing that. Mm. So at that point, I said, well, I need to do something. So I started with the uh, semi-glutide, which is known as Ozempic. And I had uh, certain issues, like GI issues and whatnot. So I got Side effects, off. some of the side effects yep. we've heard about. Okay. And what are we looking at now on the screen? So that is after I started the terzipatide, um, because I wasn't feeling too good on the Ozempic. And that's my before and after. Uh, my 90-day wow. 90, 90 challenge that I did to myself. And I had some tremendous results. Um, as you can see, I, I was at my heaviest mm -hmm. in that picture that you see there. Um, fighting fires, trying to take care of other people's health, mm -hmm. but I wasn't taking care of mine. And the terzepatide is this new one, the Zetbound that we're talking about that was newly FDA approved and you didn't have the side effects with that one? No, the side effects were very slim to none. Um, the results were almost twice as much when it came to the weight loss. Okay, so Dr. Davis, walk us through all this. Who is the right candidate for this type of a drug and how do you figure out which one is the best right, one for a right, patient? Right. Well, you know, there are, when, when it comes to who's the right person, you know, uh, as a physician, you know, I, I don't like to use weight loss drugs as crutches. That's one of the most important things I think we want to get across. But there are a lot of people who are struggling to lose weight. And so, and we're talking about people who are massively overweight. Uh, and so the people who have diabetes, clearly those are people who are candidates. And that's what those drugs were initially approved for. for. Mm -hmm. So they were approved for diabetes, however, the weight loss that we started to see after being used for the diabetes was what, what, what was incredible. So people with diabetes, people with cardiometabolic syndrome. So cardiometabolic syndrome is kind of the early form of diabetes. Mm. And so 50 to 60% of Americans have some form of cardiometabolic disease. Okay. So those are the people that I'm really looking to start these medications on because we will likely help with a lot of the other, not just weight loss, but a lot of the cardio hypertension, cholesterol issues. And that, that data is continuing to come out with these medications. So it's much more than a weight loss drug. So people who are watching this right now, they're going, okay, am I a candidate? Maybe I mm -hmm. haven't been diagnosed as being pre-diabetic mm -hmm. and they want to start and initiate and kickstart the weight loss journey. What is your recommendation to them? Really find a practitioner who's well-versed with these products. Um, I do think that the more literature that comes out, there are several medications in the class of these called GLP-1 agonists. Um, semaglutide is ozempic, okay? Um, okay. What we've heard about most recently is a new product called Zepbound, which is terzepatide, okay? And it's interesting how drugs can be the same. Uh, it's, so terzepatide is also called Mongero, uh, and it's called Zepbound. Semaglutide is also called Wigovi. Very com complicated. So, like the generic term, the scientific term? Is so that those are just the trade names of those. Okay. So people can be very confused, but let's just keep it very simple. There are two basic drugs out there right now that most people are using, um, semaglutide and terzepatide. Okay. Both of those have two separate names, one used for diabetes and another used for weight loss. Mm. So, but they're the same drugs, maybe a little bit of a different dosing, um, but the same drugs. So there's only two drugs that, well, only two main drugs okay. out there. They're more than, these, this class has been around for a while since 2005, but there are only two main classes. Um, when you come to looking at what's better based on the studies, yeah. Terzepatide has less side effects and more weight loss effects. And that's the Manjaro and the Zetbound that's newly Correct. FDA approved. Okay. Correct. Sam, tell us what kind of reaction you get from people when you tell them that you used one of these weight loss drugs. And do you have any advice for people that are struggling and thinking about doing it? Yeah, I mean, the reaction when they see my results, they, they want to hop on it right away. You know, obviously, yeah. you know, there's certain things that you have to do through your medical practitioner to make sure that it's clinically safe for you to do so. Um, the one thing that I would say is uh, don't use it as a crutch. 
Mm -hmm. um, this is just a good boost, a good kickstart for your weight loss journey. And then from there, you know, it's important to understand nutrition, exercise, like all of that stuff goes into play for you to be it's successful. It's not a silver bullet. It's not. Yeah, it's and the not. weight can come back, again, if you just depend on the drug and don't really change the lifestyle. Yeah, because the drug will suppress your appetite, so, you know, you're going to be uh, restricting your calorie intake, so, but if you get off of the medication, you know, your appetite's going to come back, so that's where you have to make sure that Got what it. you're eating is the healthy stuff. Well, thank we really you. thank you both, both for being here yeah, and talking you. about this. As Megan said, such a hot topic. I feel like every other person I talk to yeah. is on one of these mm -hmm. drugs, and mm -hmm. some talk about those side effects, so it's nice to hear the difference right. between the drugs. So yeah. thank you to you both. For more information on these guests, visit their website. You're going to see it on your screen, liquivita.com, the company co-owned by both Sam and Dr. Davis, where they help others with their weight loss journey and health. We'll be right back.